In Acts chapter 2, we hear a story about the early church. 3,000 had just joined the church, and the church was facing the question, now what? What do we do with these people? And in Acts chapter 2, verses 42 through 47, we hear how the disciples gather the people together in prayer, gathered them together in fellowship, gathered them together in breaking of the bread, and gathered them together in teaching them. And so as we were reflecting on this passage and as we have been thinking about the essence of church, what it is that matters at church, what is important at church, we've been reflecting on the early church. And from there we have learned some lessons about the early church, lessons that are important for us in shaping the future of Blaine Memorial. And what we learned from the early church is that they were present. When we stand before the congregation on the second Sunday of each month, Pastor Mike and I ask those who are joining the church, will you support Christ Church at Blaine Memorial with your prayers, your presence, your gifts, your service, and your witness? And so over these next four weeks, we're going to be looking at what it means to be a church that is supporting the ministries of presence, the ministries of giving, the ministries of service, and the ministries of witness here at the church, and how you are able to give generously of your time, of your talents, and of your resources, so that we can be the church that God is calling us to be. And as we looked at the ancient church, the earliest church, and we saw how they were present, and what was interesting that in this passage, there are three levels of presence. The first level is that the early church was present with the word of God. That they were gathered together to hear the teaching of the apostles, to hear the sermons that the apostles had shared. Maybe, just maybe, they remembered the sermon earlier in Acts 2 that Peter delivered. How he told the story of Christ. The one who has fulfilled the promises of the Old Testament. The one who lived his life in a way where God's love was shown through him. The one who was willing to die for us so that we might have life abundant, eternal, and resurrected. And we, learning in these teachings, discover that we are called to be witnesses of the resurrection, witnesses of Christ Jesus, and in that time we receive the Holy Spirit. So as I was thinking about the early church and how they were present with the word of God, I also recognized that they were present with God's people. And we really do this well here at Blaine Memorial. We love to gather together for fellowship and to break bread with one another. Even our children on Tuesday nights gather together around the table to share a meal and to learn the stories of who God is. And it was important for the early church to be with one another. To be at the table with one another. And so we invite you to not only be present with the word of God, but to be present with God's people here at church. And the third level of presence we see in Acts chapter 2 is that God invites us to be present with Christ Jesus. And the way the early church did that is that they would take care of those who are in need. Just as Jesus said in Matthew 25, For I was hungry, and you fed me. For I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. For I was a stranger, and you welcomed me in. I was imprisoned, and you came and visited me. That Jesus reminds the early church, and he reminds us, that if we are to meet him and to be present with him, it happens in the moments when we care for those who are in need. It happens in the moments when we gather on Sunday and worship. And so the early church was passionate about learning. The early church was passionate about worshiping. The early church was passionate about praying. And the early church was passionate about growing. Because God added to their number 
each day. May God bless us in this time, and may we not only grow in number, but grow in faith here at Blaine Memorial by being present with the Word of God, being present with God's people, and being present with Jesus Christ. Amen.